shown here in Baez City, houses were destroyed, electric posts were toppled, and that the complete surrounding is covered with mud. So far, 18 are confirmed dead in the city while 17 remain missing. The Civil Security Office said that search and retrieval operations are still ongoing. Some bridges were closed off while vehicles passing are being monitored. Aside from power shortage, water supply is also limited due to broken pipes. Residents resorted to fetching water from deep wells. The city hall and several establishments are already lending outlets to the residents so that they may charge their mobile phones and other gadgets for free. Over 200 families or 1,000 residents are currently staying in the evacuation center. Non-government organizations and private individuals continue to provide aid and donations to residents. However, the LGU is urging donors to bring their relief goods and other supplies to the city or to the city hall so they can distribute this properly. Sean, the situation here is the same as in other areas battered by Typhoon Odette. Aside from food and other necessities, residents are asking for potable water due to limited supplies available in stores. Sean. Ryan, thank you so much for those updates and do stay safe. That was Ryan Ang reporting to us live from Baiz City in Negros Oriental.